Previously, I pickpocketed over 45,000 Argoin Knights to achieve 99 Thieving, my 19th skill to 99. I also grinded Hunter to level 89 to finally unlock Redwood Birdhouses, and I got a few uh, decent drops along the way, including the Jar of Chemicals, which was actually the last item I needed to complete the Hydra Log. In this episode, it's time to focus on one of the most notoriously boring skills to max, and probably my least favorite skill of all time, agility. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Before I get too deep into the Sepulcher, I decided to do some Gauntlet to test my luck and also knock out some of the combat tasks. And I managed to snag a 348 Gauntlet kill, which was just freaking insane. I was kind of practicing speedrunning tactics, and honestly, I just had some like very insane RNG, so I absolutely crushed the Grandmaster task. I was also super close to the KC task for the Corrupted Gauntlet, so I just stuck around to get that one done as well. Well, that is a, a new PB at Corrupt Gauntlet uh, 710. That was a pretty good run, but I got some, there were some mistakes that happened. Um, Mainly just getting hit by some tornadoes in the beginning of the unlift due to a, a misclick. So yeah, I mean, I need to drop that by 40 seconds, but I'm kind of getting the hang of it. So hopefully we can get the uh, get the time down, but that is 149, one more for 150. Come on, there's two and there we go. There we go. That is another task down, which is just a KC task, 150 gauntlet. So we just need the, we just need the, I'm um, sorry, I have a cat who is jumping all over the place. We just need the time task left for corrupted gauntlet. Um, yeah, 11, 10 out of 11. Don't ask me what inspired me to open up a bunch of shade keys, but uh, we finally got Zealot's boots, and there's a nice rune scroll. Um, yeah, so I, w I actually am like super dry on the Zealots or Zealots pieces. Um, I've opened up like over 500 chests. Um, and this is my first piece, which is actually really nice. So I'm just taking a break from skilling, basically, and doing something fun and new. But there we go. First piece out of uh, four. All right, random master clue. And the reward is 558k. Nice. All right, that was kind of a close one. Um, we did it, so let's see what we get from this grand hollow chest. Some runite bolts, nice. So I believe if I exit now, ninety-three agility. Honestly, this has been going by like way quicker than I thought it would. Um, it's been a lot of fun. We're up to 354 out of the 3,000 that we need for the Dark Acorn. So I will probably do this when I want to pay attention. And then when I want to relax, I will go back to Artie and continue getting Marks of Grace for another set of Graceful. But for now, I'm just going to keep working on the Hollowed Sepulcher. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm finally mastering floor five, so hopefully next time I see you guys, it will be with another agility level. It was a tight one, but this should be chest number 50. So that's cool. We are 520, 518k away from the next level. So yeah, just going to keep grinding, but... Figured 50 was a good milestone, so yeah. Well, this was unexpected. Uh, I just got a Ring of Endurance um, on Kill Count, or on uh, Chest 53, so uh, 
that's nice. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this one, honestly. It's uh it's like 40 mil, but uh 38 mil. So I think I'm gonna keep this one because I'm gonna be doing herbivore and I still need to do blast furnace anyway. So yeah. But there we go, Ring of Endurance on uh Grand Hawk Grand Coffin 53. That is a nice drop. That is some motivation right there. So I thought about it and I think I'm just going to keep this ring. Um you can charge it with stamina doses. So I think if I do like I take out like a hundred staminas, I'm gonna use it. I can add four hundred charges. So yeah, I mean I need to do blast furnace. And I need to do herbivore. So I figured I might as well keep it to make those as efficient as possible. And if I want to get rid of it, I can sell it off later. It's kind of retained its value. So um, yeah, I'm just going to hold on to it. Yeah, it's kind of a nice little nice little ring. It should help out on the hunter and smithing grants. We add new PB on floor three. And we're only 3k away from the next level. Beautiful. All right, and with Grand Hollowed Coffin 78, we are getting 94 agility. Nice. So I think I am going to take a break from agility. And since we got the cheeky ring of endurance, I'm going to go work on some herbor or um, some hunter. Considering we're only 66k away, it shouldn't take very long, and we can put this thing to the test. Easy total level, and that will also be base 90. So yeah, I would say that the Ring of Endurance is nice because it just gives you double the time with your stamina. Um, it costs the same, I think, because you have to charge it with doses, and then you have to drink a dose in order to get the double time. But... It just makes it more convenient. So yeah, I give this ring a solid 7.5 out of 10. Um, I don't think it's worth 40 mil. <laughs> um, it's I, I really don't, but yeah, it's it's nice. I got it for free, so I'm gonna use it. There we go. That is 90 hunter. That is the last skill to 90 that we need, which is great because we are getting super close. So I think I'm going to hang out here and get a thousand herbivore and then we'll move on to something else. Probably just agility again. That is 1000 herbivore and I think I am going to maybe try to do like one or two more and uh do that later and i think i'm gonna go test this thing out at blast furnace actually i said i was gonna go do more the or more agility but um i don't know i'm just not really feeling it right now um but i am close to a smithing level so i figured you know while we've got the ring on we might as well go uh go test it out at blast furnace see how op it is there and uh maybe then i can give kind of a more comprehensive review of the ring of endurance There we go, 97 smithing. I have 12k to get through, so uh, we'll just get through it, and then we'll go back to grinding something else, probably agility again. Also, I realized I didn't talk about uh, any of the benefits to the Ring of Endurance, and I have to say, it is honestly so handy here. I have a feeling it's increasing my XP by hour by... A decent bit just because you get double the time so you don't have to miss those ticks taking out the uh the stamina doses so yeah i definitely think that this is a ring of endurance is worth it for blast furnace not so much for herbivore because you don't miss any ticks while uh drinking stamina potions but here for sure all right so with this inventory that is all of the gold ore smelted that is my smithing journey coming to an end for now. I have some clues in the bank 
that I got from Birdhouse Runs that I think I'm going to go do. And then it's back to Sepulcher because uh, I'm a slave to that place right now. Got to get that agility level up. So we'll see you guys with some clue scroll rewards. Maybe some third age. I don't know. We'll find out. Probably some shit. Probably will only be like the 100k. Please subscribe. So uh, as you can see, I got a mimic. Um, this was from a clue scroll that I got from doing birdhouse runs. And uh, yeah, I was just spam clicking the master and it's a mimic. So let's go do the mimic. All right, now it is time to open up the mimic. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, this honestly it's that's trash reward. But 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 this this is amazing. We go to the collection log. We look at clues. This freaking ancient page 3 was the last thing I needed to complete the shared treasure trail rewards. I have done over 1,500 clues, and this is my first Ancient Page 3. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that, actually. That, that's so nice, like, just having this finally ticked off. It would have happened eventually, but you know what? On Master Clue 86, I will take it. Um, 15 Manta Rays is ass, but dude, you are kidding me. You are kidding me. I just got another ring of endurance. I've gotten two in under 100 chests, man. My hollowed sepulcher luck is out of this world. That is amazing. Um, about halfway to 95 agility. Uh, I just can't stop here because uh, we're getting pretty rich. So, yeah, I'm going to... Go sell that, I guess. That's 42 mil. So that is amazing. All right. This is Grand Hollowed Coffin number 100. And I think we have like 115 completions or something. So, um, yeah, once I got the hang of it, uh, it was it was a lot easier. Um, but let's see what we get for number one. Number 100 is points okay nice um it's been a lot of fun uh i'm almost at 1700 hollowed marks and 56 percent of the way so um i think i'm just gonna hang here until i run out of rune arrows and vampire dust and everything and just see maybe push 2k um but yeah i don't there's you know nothing else i need except for the uh the acorn so but two rings of endurance, so nice. Um, but yeah, we just keep plugging along. I'll, uh, like I said earlier, I'll post the loot from 100 uh, hallowed, grand hallowed coffins, and then the rest of the loot is from floor four, one chest in floor four, and then the rest in floor five. So again, I got really lucky. I don't know what the rate of the ring of endurance is. I think it's like one out of 200, and I got two before 100. So pretty lucky um and the ring sold for 42 mil so um that is a nice addition to the cash stack so i have been doing agility pretty much exclusively for the past couple days i am about 250k away from the next level but i think i'm going to take a break and i'm actually going to go head over to the dagonoff kings um i got a slayer task of 35 of them and if we look at the combat achievements there are uh quite a few tasks that i can get done um some of them are pretty easy but some of them are pretty difficult so i'm gonna go try to do all of them as many as i can with these 35 kills i think it shouldn't be too difficult but um, i've heard that some of them can be kind of annoying and frustrating so that's what i'm gonna do go do so i'm gonna gear up for that and uh i'll see you guys over at the uh the dk lair
Well, as you can see, we completed the Slayer task and we didn't do it. We didn't complete the Dagonauts, which is fine, I guess. We, uh, I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't get the chins to hit. So, a couple tasks left. Um, I'll just go back whenever I get another task. It's to kill Dagonoth Rex and another Dagonoth at the exact same time. And then the other one is just to kill them all within nine seconds, which I feel like is a little finagly because I definitely killed a couple Dagonoths at the same time and it didn't count, but that's fine. We will go back when we get another task. Um, so yeah, let's go see what we get and uh, maybe it'll be something good coming up on 800 points. All right, Dirt Daddy, give me the... Ooh, perfect. Um, that's nice. I am going to do a Jad task this time around, um, just because it's going to be a little bit quicker. Um, I also have my Kodai on Lend right now, so I don't actually have access to that. Um, but there are a ton of JAD tasks, so it's good to start working on those two. So, uh, and they're definitely the easier of the two, so I'll probably work on these first. But, oh yeah, that's that's perfect. Um, that's nice. I'm really excited about this. So I decided to go with a melee setup. We are going to work on a, the facing chat head on a near miss and then this will also be my 10th fight cave so we will get this one by default but if everything goes right that should be three tasks in one go so this is my setup in inventory um i'm gonna try to be speedy about it so i'm gonna use claws and then i'll use the halberd if i want to uh work on just a major by itself so that way i don't have to pay attention but yeah I think this should be pretty easy. Hopefully I don't fuck up. And uh, if everything goes well, I will see you guys at JAD. All right, we have made it to the double natures. We've, of course, we have made it to wave 62. And uh, yeah, honestly, Blood Fury is fucking amazing. So highly recommend getting one um but i'm just going to go ahead and kill this guy and we are on to jad here he is i'm gonna tank the next hit Nice. That is three complete, three tasks all completed all at once. So it was a little spicy there towards the end, but honestly, that was a lot of fun. Um, I'm really looking forward to the other tasks. This is like kind of tedious. Just using melee is a little wonky, but uh, the other ones should be pretty fun. I mean, there's speed tasks and then no prayer points. So I'm going to go try to get a back to back Jad task and uh, we'll give send another one. And the task is black demons. So. Yeah, I really want to finish up the demonic gorilla log. Just missing the heavy frame. And after that, I am going to block black demons forever. Wow, we are 97 XP away from oops, missed that. 97 XP away from our next agility level, so. Let's see if we can get that. I really thought completing a floor four would be enough, but apparently not. 
Oh, that's 95. 95 agility. Nice. Holds the Boker has made this grind. Really not that bad. Not that great, but not that bad. I've made a bunch of money from it, so like I can't even complain that much. All right, we have a random master casket to open, so let's go ahead and open that. Ooh, a Mimic. Okay, Mimic number 11. Casket time is... 25 wines of Zami. All right, enough mucking about. Um, I did some calculations, and it looks like I am about 20... 9,000 gold bars away from, not gold bars, gold ores away from 99 smithing. So I am actually going to buy 25k because I am probably going to get some ores from other things. I have a couple in the bank right now as well, and I know I'm probably not going to do all this at once, so I'm just going to leave some room for excess ores but i am going to be buying twenty five thousand gold ores and doing my best to get through as many of them as i can boom 98 smithing one more to go a solid 1.2 million experience but we still have quite a few of these gold ores to get through so that is the goal right now 18,000 more ores, and uh, I will see you guys when we finish with the gold ores. It has been done. We have made 25,000 gold bars, plus I did all the Addy and the Rune, and now I am 221k from 99. Probably going to take a break because um, I have gained... Let me see, where can I add this to canvas? I have gamed 1.4 million experience today. So, yeah, I think it might be time for a smithing break. So I'm pretty sure I'm about to actually, like, rush my personal best in this little bulker. This was, a, like, an, an amazing run. So let's see if I do it. Also, that... Brings us over 2,500, so we are super close. Yeah, look at that. 735, that is by far my best sepulcher time, so I'm getting pretty darn good at the sepulcher now. So this run might be good. I don't even remember what the last time was, but we'll see. Ooh. Okay. That was still a good run, um, PB'd on floor four, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, sub eight minutes for the Sepulcher, like, I'm kind of killing it lately. This should be hollowed chest 150, and we are so, so close to getting the giant squirrel metamorphosis acorn. But I don't have a giant squirrel. So it's uh, the bittersweet end to the grind. But alas, we continue. There is something very special about this grand hallowed coffin opening. If we open it, you will see that we have 3,000 hallowed marks, which is uh, pretty amazing because... Uh, now, with a new Floor 5 EB, we can actually go ahead and buy the Dark Acorn. New Collection Log item. The Acorn has been bought, and if we go to the Collection Log, and we go to the Hollowed Sepulcher, that is another green Collection Log entry. Uh, unfortunately, I do not actually have the squirrel pet, so this will be sitting in my bank, but it's content that is completed, and that feels really good. I am 7k away from another level, so uh, I'm actually just going to go run 
another Hollowed Sepulchre because that will get me 96. And at 96, you do not fail the Arty course, so that feels like a perfect place to stop. So let's go do that real quick. This will be my final Grand Hollowed Coffin for, for quite a while. I'm going to miss this place, honestly. Hollowed Sepulchre makes agility uh, not so bad. Um, maybe I'll return post-99 to grind out the pet. But for now, we're going to call it here with 96 agility. I have conquered the Sepulchre, and uh, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm glad that I was able to, to get everything from here. Our agility journey will continue on the rooftops of Artie.